Hi, my name is Asia, and today I'll be teaching you how to evaluate Laplace and inverse Laplace transforms, as well as solve for differential equations using MATLAB software. So first, taking the Laplace transform, we need to define our variable t as a symbol. The way we do that is by using the sims function and letting it know that t is a symbol. Next, we take our Laplace transform by using the Laplace function and there, you get your answer. Now, you can clean up your answer by using pretty and a and s. And it'll give your answer in this form. Next, we're going to take the inverse Laplace transform. So again, you have to state S as your symbol by using sims S. Then you take your inverse Laplace function, uh, I Laplace in this case, and you can evaluate it. Again, I use pretty as a personal pretty to clean up the to clean up your answer, but it's just a personal preference. Now we're going to go on to solving differential equations. So we have a first order differential. You're going to use d solve function. And you have single quotes around your, your function. You use a capital D uh, to define your differential being first order. You get your answer like this. Now we're going to add initial conditions to that function. We're going to set y of 0 equal to 1. And I want my answer to be in pretty form. So you get your you get your answer like this. You don't necessarily have to have it like that. It looks good this way too. Now we're going to take a second order differential. We're going to take a second order with initial conditions. Okay, notice how you, you have a 2 after your capital D. This is stating that you have a second order differential. Again, you have to state for your initial condition, you also need a D stating that your Y prime of 0 is equal to 5. And we get our answer in this form. Now I'm going to show you a differential with an input other than a constant. Okay. Notice you just write your your input the way you want it in this case 3t squared and you set your initial conditions and you get your answer in this form again you don't have to use the pretty and you'll get your answer in this form thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed the video